Wolves 1, no, Wolves 2, sorry, Crystal Palace 2. And I think Gary might just, by the skin of his teeth, have next week in charge of Wolves. But certainly, again, a frustrating and Wolves remain a frustrating evening and Wolves remain uh, winless in the Premier League. Um, I don't know. I mean, there was a lot of people in and around me in, in the South Bank and leaving the ground asking, do I think he's still going to be in charge? I think he will. Um, but I don't think a point does us many favours at all, to be completely honest. We're in a similar position, if not worse, with other results that have gone against us today. Um, do I think... Uh, I, unless I, I, maybe the club have said to him, right, you need six points from the next two, um, because the way he sort of his sort of manner at the end of the game, where he stormed down the tunnel, he didn't come across to the the South Bank at all. That's something that I've not seen from Gary O'Neill before, um, <laughs> and it. I don't know. I mean, there were there were chants of you don't know what you're doing. There were boos around some of the substitutions today as well, but ultimately. In terms of the lineup, it's what I predicted. Bar Sars keeping his place uh, ahead of Johnston. This lineup is what I, I predicted and what I suggested. I think following the game last week against Brighton, there were certain individuals that I felt deserved to keep their place, and Gary O'Neill rewarded those individuals. I feel, but Pablo Sarabia, I'll hold my hands up. You know, I was an advocate for him starting today, but he was really poor. I think he missed. He fumbled. Maybe two clear-cut chances. First one's a little bit more difficult, but second one, he's got a berry, which I'll, I'll talk about in a second. His pace on the ball at times, it was turning almost like an Eddie Stobart. He was that slow sometimes. Um, you know, and, and rightly, he was, it was cheered um, by the Wolves fans when he got subbed off, which I do feel a little bit for Pablo, but ultimately that performance wasn't good enough today. Um, in regards to other elements of the performance, the first half was all right. I felt we had a decent amount of control in the game. You go into half-time nil-nil with every chance of getting three points from the game. Um, you know, like I said earlier, Pablo had that half chance. It was a good uh, save. Uh, but a good bravery by Dean Henderson, who again had a, a pretty decent game, to be completely honest. Um, but just held onto the ball a little bit at times. It, it just, just one of those games. When the goals come in, I think the first goal from Palace, both Palace goals from set pieces, which is so frustrating. The first one is so avoidable um, from where I saw, you know, could see it. It looked like Strand Larson, um, you know, saw, it looks like saw easy catch for him. Strand Larson's in his way and heads it and Trevor Shalaba at the back post to score and put uh, Palace 1-0 up. And then the for Walls to fight back, I think after the, um, the equaliser, I had a really good feeling that we could go and go, go ahead in the game. Uh, Sarabia missed that one-on-one -on -one chance. Uh, I think that was at nil-nil, to be fair, which was, you know, clear-cut. There was sort of a dubious handball decision about 20 seconds before. So, you know, who knows? It may have got ruled out. Uh, VAR may have pulled it back for that. But for me, you've got to be putting the ball in the back of the net regardless. Um, but, you know, we took both goals quite well. Uh, Strand Larson, great composure, gets that goal through uh, Dean Henderson's legs. Struggled today, I think, Strand Larson to get into the game. You know, they've pushed him through uh, to 90 minutes, but he struggled today um, to, you know, in, in, in terms of his impact. But great to see Jao Gomez get a goal. Good from Mateus Cunha. Um, and Gedge as well to, to lay him off and send Henderson the wrong way. But again, another set piece goal and conceded and obviously allows Palace to, to get back into the game. But ultimately, one of those games uh, for Wolves. Um, frustration after some of the substitutions had an, uh, a positive impact some of them but ultimately I don't think a point is good enough do I think he will still be the manager yes but I wouldn't be surprised to see a tweet or a, a, a communicado official tomorrow that that he's gone but ultimately Wolves 2 Palace 2 don't think it helps as much to be honest um, but we go on to next week uh, and we'll see what happens